Peter Arts, known as the Dutch Lumberjack, a three-time World Grand Prix champion, was a finalist last year. That's how he earned his spot here in Osaka, along with action like this. But injuries have begun to set him apart from the rest of them, trying to overcome what Mother Nature brings on now, and that most likely is age. His opponent, Gerald Venetian, not a lot of K-1 experience, but plenty of ring experience. 36 wins, he got an automatic win by winning the Basel Grand Prix in May. Okay, tail of the tape, 32 years old for both fighters, 6'1 to 6'4, Arch the taller, 220 to 238, 18 pound weight advantage for Arch, 19 knockouts for Venetian in his 36 wins, uh, but 56 <laughs> knockouts and 74 wins for Peter Arch. They want the mask on the way out, judging by what Arts has done to a lot of previous opponents. Biggest figures in K1, Peter Arts. His name nearly synonymous with K1 fighting. He and Ernesto Hoost have won many of the championships between them. 94, 95, and 98. He took it all at Tokyo at the World Grand Prix. New K-1 fans may know him for that huge knockout Stefan Laco laid on Peter Arts in Vegas. But look at the history, and you'll see why what Mike says about Arts and K-1 going hand in hand is so true. Venetian has some recent wins, but he doesn't have any victories over any of the big guys here tonight where Peter Arts has defeated most all of the fighters that are even fighting tonight, as well as having such a history in K-1 that he can never be discounted, even with the troubles he's had the last two years. 74 wins. These two guys are the same age, 32 years old for the history that they have. A lot of fights for Peter Arts. Nearly a hundred times in the ring. Can he come back from the troubles of the last 24 months since his stunning knockout loss to Stefan Laco in August of 2001 at the Bellagio Hotel in Las Vegas? He's been injured, had trouble getting in the ring, finding opponents staying healthy to be able to in there, to, to stay in there with some of the tougher fighters. This is gonna be a big test for him tonight. Fight number four of our final elimination. 
Three men already have made their way from tonight's action to the Tokyo Dome. Ray Seppo, Peter Graham, and Alexei Ignashov. Four more to come to join Musashi there for the final eight. Peter Arts, of course, in the red trunks. Venetian in the blue on the right of your screen. Six foot four is Peter Arts. Venetian working his way into this contest by winning the Grand Prix elimination in Basel, Switzerland back in May of this year. Will he be able to stay with someone as experienced as Arts? Peter Arts approaches the fight just looking at early on as one who can finish things with one punch. And we know he's that type of fighter early in his career. Can he do it now, though, is a big question mark, both in the fans' mind and perhaps in his mind. And that would be a dangerous thing for him. Start questioning yourself at this point of your career. Does he still have the confidence? Right now, he looks a little tentative. He's always been a slow starter. Right hand should zip on that. Now, Venetian with a big looping right hand just landed high on the head. Art seeming to measure Venetian, trying to get an idea of what the guy's got. What can he do? Oh, good right hand from Peter Art. Oh, that hurt Venetian also. See him backing up, just trying to stay out of the way of catching another one. Good tactic from Venetian. Use those kicks. Keep Peter Arts at bay. No losses for Venetian yet. As we said, he's 36-0-1. I really love this format they have, both this year and as they did last year inside Tama. Seven super fights, and the winners go to the Grand Prix. What a tremendous night of fighting for the fans and here and for the fans all around the world on pay-per-view. Tokyo coming up in less than 60 days, and we'll have it here on pay-per-view. Three times now, Venetian has felt the sting of that glove on his nose from Peter Arts. That right hand was not a knockdown, but I'll tell you, Venetian went down on a couple on, on both knees to catch a few seconds recovery time. Final seconds of round number one, scheduled for three. Few things in Peter Art's life go as scheduled. Certainly the more active there, I'll give him that round. Looking composed as always, he could probably be his own manager. He knows enough about this fight game, enough about himself. The action from the first round, you see that right hand by Arch being perfectly placed. Venetian moves back, trying to get out of the range and catching another one here. You see the, the hands go up, start to flail a little. He catches the right, he goes down on both knees. I think that was planned to catch a little bit of recovery time. This is another shot of it. Arch, master of the right hand. Knows just when to throw it, just when to go over top of the, of the uh, defense of Venetia. Ready for round two now. Venetia anxious to get out there and get going. That would have been Art's round in round one. I'd have had him ahead by probably a full point. Venetia in the blue trunks with the white trim. Art's, of course, in the red and the black. Art stalking, looking for the right hand, it he seems. He is indeed looking for the big finish. But he'll take any avenue to Tokyo right now. Anything he can. He impressed the, the Japanese audience earlier this year with a knockout win over Nakasako at the Beast 2 co contest. Now, one thing we're not seeing, Lon, is the kicking from Peter Arch that right. we usually do. It's almost all hands. Well, that was not anywhere near a knockdown. That was retreat, retreat, and trip from <laughs> Gerald Venetia. Trip and get out of the way of any more punches. <laughs> Venetian is the one looking tentative now. We've seen that from Peter Arts. That's his mantra tonight. Stalk, 
throw a left jab and come with a right bomb. Nishiana has to get more aggressive. He's going to lose a lot of points just from being so passive in the ring. But right hand in the first round must have hurt even worse than it, than it looked. Nishiana is very gun shy. Still to come, Bob Sapp taking on Remy Bonjaski. Oh, good body punch. Right hand to the head, leg kick by Arts. Oh, now he's all over Venetian. Venetian's corner is telling him he's got to go. He's got an excellent trainer, Johan Voss, over there. He's telling him he's got to get aggressive. Oh, good left hand. That's the first big left we've seen from Arts. Trade of jabs, Venetian won that trade. Very methodical Peter Arts, building points, looking for the big opening. If it comes, okay. If not, still out pointing his fellow countrymen. He's getting the job done, but does not look like the Peter Arts of old. Never been the prettiest fighter in the ring, combinations and technique but he always hit real hard with the right hand and he set it up well with his kicks. Tonight he just doesn't look like he's got much of a plan other than just try to form an opening and land the right. Fought really enough in this type of format to give a history. And so perhaps Peter Arts feeling that it's a little bit safer to try to learn this fighter early on because he may not have much information on how